Dios. Yellow Stinger is not here. She's out being painted. So, we're going to do a review of what I got right here. This is the 2018 Kia Optima S XL. Let me get it right. Yes, SXL. I believe I did a review of the one of these before, but I don't know if that one had turbo or not. This one is a four-cylinder turbo. Silva. Yeah, let's get this review on the road, shall we? What you're hearing right now is that Harman Kardon stereo system, and it sounds really good. So we're going to go over the basics, you know, nothing extensive. This is going to be a quick review. You do have a lot of safety features on here. You got your lane parture assist warning. You got your, your, your rear view, not your rear view, your side mirror, blind spot monitoring warning system. You got your forward collision system. You got your adaptive cruise control right here. So if you're going like 55 or whatever, and you're getting up too close on the vehicle, that'll let you know that. This particular one has 4,725 miles on it. It is currently 53 degrees where I'm at here on the East Coast. Winter is coming. These are analog gauges. You have your different modes here. Well, let's uh, navigate through that right here. Got your map, lane departure. You can see your radio right there, whether you need service. You know, all that good stuff. Here's your average miles per gallon, you know. All that good stuff right there. You do have a touch screen navigation system. I do like that. Here's your emergency, it's all your climate controls, radio, maps, blah, yada, yada. Climate control right here, you can hit that on automatic. It does show up there. This does have Sirius XM radio and uh, HD radio as well. You have your auto dimming rear view mirror right there. Sunglass holder right here. Do you like the LED lights right there? That's nice. Here's where it messes up for me. Look at this sh right here. It's like, come on, care. Be consistent with this. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, come on. I don't like that. I don't like that, but whatever. Moving on. Glove box down there. You do have pedal shifters, positive, negative. Here's your gear selector right here. You have a compartment here. You just push up. There you see my USB where he was hearing Wu-Tang. You have an auxiliary port. Have your cigarette plug lighter thingy right there. Two of them, of course. One for you, one for your passenger. When you put it in reverse, you get this wonderful view. I'll turn this off. Get this wonderful 360 view. Then you got your backup camera right there. 
you have heated steering wheel you have heated and cooled seats right now it should be on heating here's your parking brake right here auto hold that feature is when you're like in traffic and you don't feel like keeping your foot on the brake you just push that the car will keep itself still until you take put on the get your foot on the gas and then it will continue to go that is a nice feature there you have your different driving modes here you have eco mode which I never use in here I never used it in my stinger you have sport mode I've used that once or twice in here makes the car a little bit more peppy and then you just have normal I normally just keep it in normal another good feature about this is when you put it in drive it stays in this view for a little bit until you actually start to pull off that's awesome you can also instead of using the pedal shifter you can use the shift lever here slap it to the left and you can go through the gears like so I believe this is an 8 speed automatic if I'm not mistaken you can sync your climate controls here between you know your driver and your passenger I believe my kids said that this had heated seats in the rear as well. I have to check that out. I do like this leather seat, leather look. I don't know if this is real genuine leather or not, but I like the stitching, the nice diamond pattern. It's The color is nice, that dark brown burgundy-ish color. Easy to clean, easy to clean glove box here with yet another USB charger port you can move that back and forth right there plenty of space for storing stuff cell phone can go here I'll usually put my cell phone here you can get your super size 44 ounce cups in here they work great now I'm going to show y'all what I really like about this car hit this button right here and you let the sun shine in. Panoramic sunroof goes all the way back so your passengers in the rear can also enjoy that sunshine. You also have some storage compartments here. You can put another cup or whatever down here. More storage space over here. Same thing on the uh, driver's, well excuse me, same thing on the passenger side as well. So with that being said, let's um, take it to the park. I'll give you an overall view of the outside and um, you know, give you a little bit more details on the inside and how it drives, how it feels and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, sit back and let's go.
so as you can see you got your vents in the back for your passengers got your two outlets here charge your phone USB right there another cigarette lighter right there pull out this you got your two cup holders right here there's no access to the rear trunk I thought there was heated seats here let me check yes there are here's your two heated seat buttons right here not cooled but heated window is not automatic in the rear you do have this shades right here just put that up you got your Sun visor shade it's pretty cool and again I love this panoramic sunroof car idle smooth hey all right so let's go check out the trunk this is mine I found it at Goodwill for $2.99 works great I use it for my Mustang you got your Optima mat back here another little space here I'm trying to see if we have a f at least a spare tire instead of fix a flat and we do we do have the spare tire right there with a jack I like that don't give me no damn can to fix a flat I can't stand that plenty of room in the back here for your luggage for trips or vacations pull this button here that puts the seat down that gives you even more cargo space this little lever right here if for whatever reason you get stuck in the trunk or being kidnapped it just push that and it gets you out this is the pull I figured out what this is this is to help close the trunk cargo net space right there for groceries or whatever yeah this is nice So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thanks for hanging out. If you haven't already, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. Follow us for Twitch. You can follow me on Twitch as well. But for YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. I really would appreciate it. And join the Sykesville Stangs family. We used to be GT2 car reviews, but now we are Sykesville Stangs. And yeah, so. Here you have Kia Optima XXL SXL. And my overall impression is I like it. Does it replace my Stinger? No. But it's good to get around town, and I'm, I appreciate that. I'm um, going to show you a video of my Kia Stinger being painted right now. It's in the process at that point this was like two weeks ago they were using primer and getting it prepped for paint I haven't had an update since then um, when I get an update you'll get an update and I still haven't quite made up my mind as to what I'm going to do yet with it but right here you have your key fob or you can lock it either with this button here or this button here And my only gripe about this car is that when these mirrors fold in and fold out, they are so loud. Um, maybe Kia, you need to do something about that. Everybody in the parking lot don't need to hear your mirrors opening up. That, that is my only, 
I mean, I haven't only had this car for like two weeks, but that's the only thing I notice. Even my Stinger does that, but it's not as loud as this. This is loud. Listen. Yeah, for a luxury-ish vehicle, you shouldn't hear that. That's, um, yeah. Yeah, that's too loud. Um, get some kind of engineering together and make that quiet. But other than that, I like the freaking car. It's nice. If it came in a six, you might strike my curiosity. But for a four-cylinder, she gets up pretty good. Four-cylinder turbo, that is. Yeah, that's going to be it. I will keep you guys posted or updated on my stinger and until then i'm out y'all be easy